guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a creamy zucchini skillet pasta because it is the end of the summer and there is a lot of zucchini available here. I don't know about where you guys live, but I was able to get a bunch of summer squash, which is like the yellow zucchini and green zucchini as well. So I wanted to use them in a pasta and this recipe turned out so well. So for this recipe, I am using a cast iron skillet so that I can do everything in the skillet and then also bake it in the oven. But if you don't have one of those, you can just use a regular frying pan and then transfer it to a baking dish or a casserole dish for the baking portion. So don't worry if you don't have a skillet, it just obviously saves one extra dish, but it's not totally necessary. So that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into it. Start off by cooking your penne pasta according to package directions and then drain it and set aside. Right before you drain it, save a little bit of the pasta water for later. Then in a skillet, you can add the vegan butter and let that melt. And then once it's almost melted, you can add in the shallots and the zucchini and let that cook for about eight to 10 minutes, keeping an eye on the temperature just so that it doesn't burn. In the meantime, we can make the sauce. So to a blender or a food processor, add some raw cashews, fresh water, nutritional yeast, salt, lemon juice and your garlic and then blend that until smooth and then you can set that aside. So then back into the skillet, you're going to add some of the reserved pasta water, about half a cup, just to add some moisture to the pan. And again, get everything really nice and soft because then we're going to use a potato masher or just a spatula to kind of break up the zucchini and mash it a little bit. If you're serving this to really picky eaters who don't really like zucchini, you can mash it quite a bit and it will be virtually indetectable in the pasta. So it's a great way to sneak some veggies into a dish. So then you can add your drained pasta and your sauce and then stir that all together until everything is coated. So to make the crispy topping, mix together some ground nuts or panko breadcrumbs if you don't want to use nuts, some nutritional yeast, some salt, and red pepper flakes. And then you can just evenly sprinkle that all over the top of the pasta. And then just put your oven on broil. I broiled mine at about 450 Fahrenheit for about five minutes until it was nice and golden brown and crispy on top. Keep an eye on it because the topping can burn pretty quickly. And then after that, just remove it from the oven and add your fresh basil if you're using it. And that is it. See these little strings? I don't know if you can see, but anyway, there's like strings all throughout here that when you're serving it and eating it, it almost looks like the cheese is stringy and it has that kind of stringy texture. I don't know if that sounds gross to people, but stringy cheese is just, you know, it's what people love about cheese. So I kind of like that the zucchini mimics the cheese in that way. The cashew sauce is so luxurious. If you're allergic to cashews, you could sub sunflower seeds. It would taste a little bit different, but it would still be good. And then the topping, guys, you can't skip the crispy topping. It adds a whole other layer to this, but if you don't have nuts or if you have a nut allergy, you could use breadcrumbs as well. Greg also said that he thought it would be good with sausage. So if you have some like Beyond Meat sausage or whatever, feel free to saute it at the same time as the zucchini and all of that. But you guys have to make this, it's incredible. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make this recipe. If you do, take a photo and tag me on Instagram. Also, I would love if you get the recipe from my blog, which I'm pretty sure you have to because it's usually linked below. If you could leave a rating or a comment if you made this. Also about my website, 
I am now posting two extra website exclusive recipes to my blog every week. So I just posted a cocktail recipe and a corn fritters recipe this week. So those are only on my blog. So if you wanna get those recipes, definitely go there to check it out and make sure you're checking back all the time because like I said, there's gonna be three recipes a week on my blog, which is super exciting. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.